Hey guys, welcome to Peripheral Vision, and today we're taking a look at the QuickShot 126 Joypad. Now, this controller has a very boring name, just the name of the company and the model number, QuickShot 126, but it makes up for that boring name in weird, weird design. As you can see, this is not your typical controller, and with controllers that are strange like this, they usually have some sort of benefit to certain games. There's obviously flight stick controllers for games like Top Gun, and sh shooting games you have a light gun, but this one doesn't seem to have a type of game that it works well with. It does technically work, I put it in the system and all the buttons work. The circle pad down here is the directional pad, and this is the way you hold it. And the top buttons, this looks like the L and R trigger, but it's actually the A and B button. You have a switch up here, which is for auto fire. You can click that on or off. And I will say, when I plug this in to test it, the auto fire is ridiculous. It works very, very well. So, point for this controller in that area, I guess. And then we have the start and select buttons on a toggle. And we have the start and select buttons on the opposite sides of where they would normally be on any other controller, like ever. So, that is the controller in a nutshell. I don't really know what else to say about it. I can't figure out what the purpose is. I feel like there's some game out there that works really well with this kind of controller, maybe. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just a weird controller for weird controller's sake. It wouldn't be the first one. But there it is. Quick Shot 126 Joypad. Later days.